Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Philadelphia, this is CBS 3 Eyewitness News This Morning. Plus, you've heard of red bottom shoes. What about blue soled shoes? <laughs> Coming up, meet the Philly man behind the successful business that's now gaining worldwide attention. This is a cool story. His business has taken him from the streets of North Philadelphia to Chestnut Street in Center City. And now his work is known around the country and the world. Eyewitness News reporter Jane Carabeo is here to talk about a local entrepreneur's journey and how he's inspiring the next generation. Yeah, Jan. he is really a great person to look up to you guys. Now, if you see someone walking around Philly with blue sole shoes, chances are they came from this guy. Steve Jameson is a North Philly native who now has a long list of celebrity customers. So what's his secret? to his success while well, not only hard work and dedication but by offering items found nowhere else in the world. With roughly 100 different styles of shoes. It's elegant, it's it's simple. And about 25 brands, mostly imports. Roberto Cavalli, Magnani, Carlos Santos. Blue Soul Shoes in Center City has become the go-to for men shopping high-end footwear. Steve Jameson is the owner. I'm amazed sometimes. Sometimes it, I just, you know, I, I come to tears thinking about like how far I've come along. Jameson grew up poor in the nice town section of Philadelphia. He remembers watching gang fights as a kid and coming home to very little. Opening the refrigerator door and just having nothing in there but Kool-Aid and you know, government cheese. But as a child, he also remembers aspiring to more. I remember just walking by uh, a clothing store, specifically on Walnut Street, and seeing this beautiful navy blue suit, this popping red tie, and remember just seeing it and, and being so in, in, in awe of that. Jameson first worked in a sneaker store as a teenager, and after going to college intent on practicing law, he jumped back to his passion. Hello, blue sole shoes. He saved enough money to open this store at 18th and Chestnut, and new success was the only option. If this fails, we lose our home because I had to take out a, a home equity line of credit in order to start the business. Six sparse shelves have grown into this. Turns out tourists were a big help, including one famous tourist, Steve Harvey. I remember the first time he came in here, he kind of just went shopping. He just kind of went around the entire room and said, oh, I want this, I want this, I want that. Jameson has also outfitted sports legend Dr. J, Julie Survey. Gary Sarge Matthews of the Phillies and Nationals manager Dusty Baker are also customers, all in search of something unique. Shoes with the blue soles are customized specially for Jameson. You won't find them anywhere else in the world. Proving a dream is never too big to realize. And even when you think that it just does not look like you won't go anywhere or achieve anything, absolutely believe that is not true at all. You just have to be hopeful always. And as we mentioned, Jameson is now known internationally. He recently won a prestigious award. He was named the best international buyer by the MyCom trade show in, in Italian Trade Commission. Only two people get that award every year. One has to come from Italy. The other comes from the rest of the world. So it was a big honor for him. I saw a man in Center City a few months ago uh -huh. with the blue soles. And I, but I couldn't, uh, he was too far away to ask yeah. him where they were from. Now I know. Now you know. And you know what? He was probably one of the only guys with that because he only buys the styles once and only one in each size. Okay. So you're never going to see someone else walking down the street Whoa. with your shoes. Okay. You need a well pair, dressed. Jim. Thanks. Yes, we yes. We need to make a list. You need a dog and you need a pair of blue soles. Shoes. Shoes. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Appreciate no it. We'll be right back with three to go. You want to buy it for me? Uh, let's see how much it costs. Okay.